There's a oh hi on uh, Will Arnett's podcast that he does with Jason Bateman. Um, I just wanted to share a story real quick because I think you'll enjoy it. Jason Bateman bought Ernest Borgnine's house. For those who don't know who Ernest Borgnine is, just some older actor, funny, kind of weird dude, and he was in Escape from New York as the cabbie. And um, in an interview, he was asked, how did you live such a long life? And he was like, you know, I I'm just squeezing him out on a regular basis. So, yeah, he's just like squeezing all over the place. And cock and... And, uh... Yeah, he said I masturbate a lot. That's what he said, right? So... Um, yeah, Jason Bateman, great name for the occasion, by the way, is, is trying to, like, explain to Will Arnett that he didn't, you know, he wasn't, like, wanking, and Will Arnett's like, nah, he's wanking all, all over the house. There's lo hidden loads throughout the house, everywhere. You know, like, cabinet, um, bedroom, everywhere, hidden loads. Um, so James Cameron is being interviewed, and then they bring it up. And Will Arnett's like, no, no, Jay, you should, you should tell him about, about, you know, your house. Um, so James Cameron is being interviewed, and they're making sure that he knows the, st the story of Ernie Borgnine cranking out loads in Jason Bateman's house. I'm not making this up. The reason I bring this up is because Will Arnett said a very funny euphemism. And I don't remember exactly what he said. It was really, really funny, and I liked it. And I don't remember what he said. Oh, fuck. No, he- during the, um... This isn't a bit, this is real. Does anyone know, did anyone listen to this podcast when he was telling James Cameron about Ernest Borgnine living a long, healthy life? No. I swear I didn't make it up. Ah, well. Anyway, I just wanted to know what the euphemism was for it, because it was really funny. This podcast does not exist. I... What did you do on Escape from New York? Um, weren't you like the visual effects oh my God, this is photographer or This something? is it. I was the co-supervisor of visual Holy effects shit. with another guy named Robert Skotak, who was a a pal of mine back then. And we did it all really old school stuff, paintings on glass and things like that. Yeah, that's so cool. Ernest Borgnine was in that, yeah. Do you have any do you have any uh, uh, ability to prove the fact Will's got a theory that Ernest not Borgnine a theory. He, not he, theory? he he gave an he interview yeah. a multiple what interviews Jason, Jason lives in Ernest Borgnine's old house wow and, and and Will is convinced that not convinced he said in a couple uh, uh interviews that uh somebody asked him what what was the key to his longevity and he and he claimed that it was a, a you're 91 years old you look fantastic you look like you're in your late 60s <laughs> early 70s what's the secret I don't dare tell you. <laughs> no meat. You don't eat meat. I masturbate a lot. Ritual of daily <laughs> masturbation. And I said, Jason, when you're in your house, do you imagine Ernest, uh, you know, in different parts of the house, just kind of leaning over the banister, up against sure. the wall in the dining room, sure. whatever, <laughs> performing this act in, in, in an exercise of keeping... Why is he always keep, standing keep, up? Well, Why is he standing? Because he's but, trying to stay older. He's trying to, oh, he's oh, trying to oh, live longer. Anyway. I, I think it's a good plan. Yeah, I think it's a good plan. Did you ever see plan. any of that it's, on a set of, of Escape from the, New York? The beauty no. of, of his plan is there's no downside. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's right. You either <laughs> live longer or you don't, but at least you're enjoying it every That's day. That's right. That's right. They say <laughs> live for every day, right? So There you go. There you go. Thank you for... That's and hysterical. it's also, also, it's victimless. Now, did I see him <laughs> wanking on the set? No. Yeah, yeah. I, no. I, I can't help you with that. Right. Okay. Okay. You, never came back to, you never came back to base camp and caught Ernest Borgnine <laughs> snapping one off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, James... <laughs> Snapping one off. <laughs> oh man, that's it. Thank you. You found it. You snapping one off. I never heard that expression before. That's such a good expression. I told you, Chad. It's real. I told you it was real. All of it. Oh, sorry. Sorry, you had to hear that. <laughs> oh, fuck!
Fuck this level. This nightmare of an auto scroller. It's not too bad though, actually. Oh boy. Whoa! Someone said I'm gonna force that into my vocabulary. Good. I'm just glad I don't know who Ernest Bologna is, says a chat member. Vinny, the chat member just got back from the ER and this is what you play? I want that chat member to laugh so hard that he has to get his stitches reinserted. <laughs> 